How did you uh, come to be known as Little Miss Dynamite? How did that happen? That name is haunting me. Let's just start there. Really? I hate being called Little. Because I really am. But no one likes to be called what they really are. But I think it's because I have energy for days. Really? I, I can come out of a show... I've been there for four hours, and I'll still go to the club, and I'll be the hypest person in there. I don't need a drink. I don't need anything to help me out. I think I just have a reserve somewhere inside. I don't understand. Talk to us a little bit about the uh, hit list, and uh, what's the show all about, and uh, what can we expect to hear? Well, the hit list is a show Monday to Friday. comes on from 7 to 10 on the 102.6 Choice FM. <laughs> Um, it's the hit list as the name suggests. It's everything fun, everything that's hot and happening right now. I play nothing but the hits. So that's what the hit list is about. It's a portal to everyone who loves what's hip and happening. So everything cool, everything you need to know about entertainment, the industry, here in Africa and the world. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, what sets the hit list apart from other shows? What's different? Okay, I, I have an advantage, and this is this is going to be very mean. It's going to sound very mean. I have a key to the kingdom because I get um, I get news and bites from MTV on a daily basis. Oh. This is sound clips as well. So this already puts me on a different, you know, I get it right from... The lion source. Yeah. source. You know, I get sound clips from stuff that was recorded yesterday in LA or you know. So I get to use I get to use it to my advantage, which is good for everyone who's listening as well. So, you know, it, it's like watching what you would hear on the hit list is exactly what you will see on E News. Alright. You know? Being from Arusha, yeah. how did you make your way to Dar Salaam? Well, I was um I my mom lives in Arusha, so um I actually never was ever based there apart from high school. Oh. So um when, when I did feature search, I did it in Arusha because I was on holiday. My, my father had just passed away, and I had to come back and chill with my mom for a bit. And they did they had feature search going on at the time. I had nothing to lose. So once I won feature search, I had to quickly make the transition from here to, from Tanzania to South Africa. So I kept going back and forth, but I would always have to work from here. The industry in Tanzania really is based in Dar es Salaam. There's not much going on in the smaller regions. Everyone else has to come here. So it only made sense to come back because I would have to be here every other two weeks and then, you know, it wasn't, wasn't too much fun. Yeah. Well, um, how did you become Tanzania's first uh, MTV VJ? How does that feel? Like, what was the process of that? The process was a grueling two months of, first of all, the first audition, which my best friend, my best friend Salah said to me, you know what? Three people called me that day. I knew the auditions were going on. I was like, I, didn't, I wasn't really inspired to do it. So my friends called me like, yo, I'm coming to pick you up. You're going to do this. I'm like, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. They literally pushed me into the line and, you know, I'm, I have every, I have them to thank because I really didn't believe in myself and I was in a, at a really low point in my life then. So VJ Search came at the right time. I had nothing to lose. I had nothing to lose. And I said, you know what? Whatever. Let's go do this. I won VJ Search in 07 and it's been a whirlwind, whirlwind ever since. I've been um, traveling and working with artists from all over the world and shooting and doing shows. And I, and now it's kind of gotten still because I don't have a show on TV right now, which is pretty cool because I can focus more on radio right now, which is... Which, is, which gives me strength, you know, to perfect the art on both, you know, TV and radio, and to develop the Vanessa brand, so. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, well, who are some of the entertainers that you, uh, entertainers that you worked with throughout your career? I have worked with, okay, let me, the very first entertainer I worked with, the very first interview I did was with Nazizi from Necessary Noise, and she was so cool, and, and I was, I was, she, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Nazizi from Necessary Noise. And she was like, chill, it's cool. And then, so, we, we found out that three degrees of separation, she was dating my best friend's brother, one of my best friends, one of my really close friends' brothers. I was like, oh my God, so you know her? So I was like, and we naturally became bonded because of that. And then the interview really went really well. As much as I did stumble and, you know, I was scared and, you know, I was like, oh my God, this was easy. And then from then on, it was just smooth sailing. So Nazizi, and then I worked with a bunch of Tanzanian ads, Professor J, JD, AY, FA, and and then I did my very first, I did my very first um, international artist sort of interview on the red carpet at the very first MTV African Music Awards. I did the red carpet there, which is one of my proudest moments because I was, I'm five foot two and heels really? five foot four. <laughs> so I'm like a little midget on the red carpet with all these huge guys. So Flo Rider is probably six foot something and no, yeah. I had to interview. It was pretty interesting. So it was like, yeah, so, yeah, so from Flo Rider to White Left, Kelly Rowland to 
Hunt, Akon, uh, uh, Carrie Hilson, uh, oh, and this goes on, I can't quite remember right now. <laughs> when you're not on the screen or airways, what do you do? What are some of your interests? Um, I'm actually working, and I don't think, I, you, you guys are the first people I'm telling this, I'm actually working on my own. Really? Yeah, I'm starting, I'm starting my career, uh, officially. I was too scared to do it before. Now I am um, brave enough, so I'm going to start my music career, and I'm excited. And I've been working in the studio with a friend of mine. I'm actually starting a band. And it's me and a guy and a drummer and a guitarist, and I can't quite let it go now, but look out for us. <laughs> what type of music is it? Is it, it, is, it is, it is, it is funky. It's funky. It's funky. How funky is How it? How funky. It's, it's African kids being given the opportunity on an international platform. So we're inspired by the Drakes and the Kanye's and the Erica's and the Lauren's, uh -huh. but... We also pay homage to the Mary McKeevas and, you know, the Brenda Fassies and the Vicky Dudes, you know. So we draw inspiration from all over the place, but it's, it's so much fun. Well, any closing words you'd like to leave us with? I think I talk too much. You do? Yeah. Well, that's your job, so I guess you <laughs> good job at it. No, um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, have a good day.